friends welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new i'm jenny and this is our houston smith home today we're going to do a little bit more fall decorating the air is a little bit cooler this week the sun is shining it is a gorgeous day and it really puts me in the mood to decorate for fall and so i've been promising y'all this today we are definitely going to be working on the mantle working on my fireplace and we may even work on the entry table I know that sounds like it might not be a lot in the video, but I like to kind of keep my videos short and sweet, so I don't want to hound you with too much all at once. So we may actually do two videos on that. I'm not sure. We'll just have to see how much we can get done today. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you enjoy. First, let's go make a cup of coffee because I have something to show you. You may remember if you watched my last fall decorate with me video that we decorated this little coffee corner in my kitchen. And I mentioned in that video that I was on the hunt for a pumpkin mug. I love to keep a seasonal mug out on my Keurig just for decoration. I'll also drink out of them, but I like to keep it out for decoration. And I had a sweet, sweet friend, my friend Kim, left this for me. I was so excited to get that. It is so cute. It's a big mug. The cutest. To Jenny, love watching your channel. She didn't tell me who it was from. I had to do a little investigating. She wasn't going to tell me, and her accomplice wasn't going to tell me. But we figured it out. It is perfect. I love it. I've already got it out. It's going to stay there through Halloween. So I wanted to show y'all that. Let's get us a cup of coffee and get started decorating. Here is a quick look at what we are starting with. This is the look that has been on my fireplace all spring and summer. And so I just thought I'd show you what we are working with here. And then here is a quick look at a few possibilities, some things that I have pulled out that I may be going to use. I did buy a couple of things new. I bought these pompous stems at Hobby Lobby and I bought those candlesticks at Hobby Lobby. And then the rest is just some stuff that I had or maybe picked up at thrift stores and Target Dollar Spot and things like that. So first things first, I just like to start with a clean slate. So I'm moving everything with the exception of that big heavy mirror because it is extremely heavy and I'm very afraid that I'm going to break it. I picked that up at an estate sale back in the summer and it is gorgeous. Now you saw me there showing you what I'm cleaning with. That's the Mrs. Myers in the apple cider scent. It is so good for fall. It smells so good. I bought, picked up some of that and the hand soap at Target recently and I just love using that in the fall. I almost always use this old crock on my fireplace. It belonged to my husband's grandmother, I believe, and so I usually just incorporate it in some way. I picked up that pompous grass at Hobby Lobby, hoping to use it in there, and so we're just going to see what that looks like. I'm not really sure if I got enough of it. We will see. I actually was wanting some like real dried pompous grass, but it sheds, I know, and that drives me crazy. So I found this and it's actually in the wedding section, $5.99 per stem, which I didn't think was terrible anyway, but also when the wedding stuff is on sale, 50% off, it will be. But it is not 50% off when the other stems are. So keep that in mind if you go to Hobby Lobby. They have that in a couple of different colors too. I, you can see I have just some like Walmart bags stuck down in there for some previous stems that I had, but... I definitely will have to cut these down or bend them and make them fit in there. So let's just play around with it and see what we think. I'm not really sure about this. What do y'all think? Tell me in the comments below. I'm going to think about this. Go ahead and be decorating the rest of the mantle and decide what I think. But y'all let me know your thoughts. I'm really getting tickled at myself in this mirror because the whole time I was filming, I did not realize that uh, you were, you were going to be able to see me. I thought you were just going to see my hands. So excuse any faces that you may see me making, and I am concentrating here. I'm bringing out my brass candlesticks. Um, I have a 
very large collection of those. Some came from my husband's mama. Some came from the thrift store. And I have the ones marked that are special to me. And so a lot of them just came from the thrift store. There are just a variety of sizes. Now, I did pick up these candles at Hobby Lobby. I felt like that was a really pretty color for fall, just kind of like almost a caramel color. And these were, I think, $1.29. And fun fact, even if it says the candles are half off, those are not because they don't cost enough, apparently. And so, anyway, $1.29 is not bad for a candle. So, I went ahead and picked up six of those. That was all they had in that color. All right, here's what we're looking at right now. I'm still a little unsure about the florals. I don't know. I am pretty happy, however, with the brass candlesticks and the new candles. I really like that color. I think it goes good with the white background. And so I am digging that, but I'm still a little unsure about the pompous grass. Now, I always put some kind of wreath up on my fireplace there because we have such tall ceilings. I just feel like it needs something up there. This is actually some garland that it was Hearth and Hand brand, and I got it on clearance several years ago at Target. And so I just put it in a circle and made a wreath out of it. So I put that up there, and then I'm thinking about changing out this these florals to um, a little bit different color that I had picked up at the Target dollar spot last year. These stems were only $3 and I bought several of them last year because I liked them so well. And so I'm thinking this color might look a little bit better. Let's see what we think. Okay, okay, now I'm not so sure about the wreath. Um, I used this one in the last couple of years and I did like it with my display at that time, but I'm not so sure I like it with this year's display. Now there is a hearth and hand wreath that I'm eyeing at Target. I'm gonna put up, uh, I'll show you a picture of it if I can find one, that I think will tie in a lot better with this, but it is out of stock. I haven't been able to find it. So I'll put up a picture of that. But for now, I did want to incorporate some pumpkins into the mantle. So I had picked up this little basket at the thrift store for 75 cents. And then I'd picked up these white pumpkins at the Target dollar spot for $3 each bag. And I'm just going to put those right in there and see if I can find a spot for them. I'm all about just playing around, moving things around, taking a step back, looking at them, seeing what I think. Sometimes I even let stuff sit for weeks days, whatever it takes. If I don't like the way it looks, then I'm going to rearrange it. I'm going to move it around. I'm a big fan of shopping my own home. I just move stuff around from one place to the next. And also, I wanted to show you all this. I picked it up at the thrift store. I thought it was perfect for fall. It was actually like dried florals in that frame, and I thought it was gorgeous. So, I'm just layering that with my mirror, put, putting the basket out there with those white pumpkins, and let's see what we think. So at this point, I think I'm really happy with everything except for the wreath situation. I really think I like that wreath that I showed you. I'm really crossing my fingers and hoping I can find that. Maybe it'll come back in stock at Target. I'm going to definitely be keeping my eye out because I'm not happy with that. I think I may end up just taking it down altogether until I can find something different. But let's move along and cozy up the egg chair a little bit. I love that egg chair that you saw there in the corner. I love to throw cozy blankets on there. This is my favorite blanket for fall. It is from the Casa Luna brand at Target. This is the color clay. I absolutely love it. I always pull it out for fall. Sometimes I use it in here. Sometimes I use it in my bedroom. But it is an excellent blanket. I have it in two colors. I will link these in the description box below. Like I said, this is my egg chair. It is the Better Homes and Gardens brand. It came from Walmart. I have no complaints. This thing has been everywhere. I have used it on my patio. I have used it in several different rooms of my home and it has found its home here in the living room for the last year or so and I absolutely love it. I will link that if it is available. Sometimes it's hard to find it in stock 
in my opinion, it is the best priced egg chair. It is a very good size and it is very good quality. So I'm just throwing that blanket on there. You saw me kind of find the middle. That is an actual queen size blanket. So I tried my very best to find the middle and just threw it on there. And then I'm putting this throw pillow, which I actually picked that up at the thrift store. It is a kind of a cream colored velvet cover. It's a good choppy pillow and it was only 99 cents. So I'll call that a win. I'm sticking that on there. To me, that just makes everything very cozy and inviting, and that is the look that I'm going for. I did end up taking that wreath down, but I still think I need something up there. But here is just a quick look at what it looks like without that wreath and what the egg chair looks like with the cozy blanket and pillow. Something I do like to do when I buy new candles like this is to go ahead and light them and just let them burn down a little bit just to give them that worn in used look. Sometimes I'll even let a little bit of wax drip down the side. I really like that look. However, I do not burn these like generally, especially when my kids are around and I might light them for a picture or a video or something like that, but I don't typically leave these burning. But that's just a little tip when you first get them and they're new, go ahead and light them. Maybe let a little wax drip down the side just to give them that worn in look. And I just like the look that that gives. think we're gonna stop there today y'all thank you for helping me decorate my fireplace I'm really happy with how it turned out let me know what you think in the comments and help me out with the wreath situation also if you see that wreath available especially if you're local to me let me know I would love to get that hearth and hand wreath from Target and I just can't find it in stock anymore I saw it in store at the beginning of you know when they first started putting out their fall and of course I didn't buy it at that time but I feel like that would tie everything in together um, I feel like I kept this neutral but I love all those earthy tones I love all the the vintage look the brass the gold um, the wicker we just tied it all in together and I'm really excited how it turned out so y'all let me know what you think let's chat in the comments if you like today's video be sure and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos I post a new video every week usually on Tuesday and so I hope to see y'all next week have a great one bye